I will slowly give you like gentle pats, like soothing, like long pats down along your side if I can, so you can feel a little bit better. Like, I don't really have anything that's going to like make you necessarily feel better, except for just like pats, soft pats. Can't okay, okay, see you. <laughs> Catch you around, Shadow. I'm so happily receiving soothing pats. Yeah, I definitely probably could have done with some like soothing pats today, honestly. Because, <laughs> um, like my, as I said, like I've just been a ball of like anxiety and stress all day, worrying about my colony, worrying about if they're going to survive. I know that a few people might potentially be like upset that I didn't just let what happened play out. But I genuinely do want to try to fight for my colony to survive. And I don't really kind of like see allowing colony wide death to take over as like, I don't know, a good thing kind of thing. Like I do want to try to keep them alive as best I can. I should probably be a two. Um, um, basically my idea is like, if I give up on my colony and I let them like fall to ruins, like I would have spent like a year or so just working towards nothing kind of thing. I know that like the colony can go at any time. Anything could happen or we could lose it. But I know considering all the things that they have been through so far with like mech battles and fucking, I don't know, quadruple raids at the same time of like 75 people in groups kind of thing. Like three, four groups of fucking 75 and shit. I'm sure they can handle this kind of thing. Like we're on day seven of uh, December. -y. So what is that? We've got like 13. No, sorry. My math. Hold up. Let me just fucking calculate this. Because my, my brain ain't getting there. I've, I'm working on like Sunday's sleep at the moment. Um, I really haven't slept. They've got eight days, which honestly is a little bit better than what we had. By the 10th day, the colony fell to ruin, essentially. And we replayed the 10th day about four times with no... Like, there was no, like, wiggle room for, like, success. It was just going to die kind of thing. So the fact that they're all still alive, because I culled basically all my animals up front so that they'd have some food now, right? They've got a little bit of food in their bellies and stuff. I need this to seal off. Where are you going, Kimmy? You're just going for a casual walk. Yeah. So, well... Can I get you to... Oh, you want to repair the fucking wall instead? God damn it. I need somebody to work on these. I need these to stop being worked on. Because it's slate. I need slate to come down the bottom. So when they make the next set of slate blocks, it should either go to the colony to repair or it should go to these. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you fucking do that. I need that sealed. Um... I have no fucking clue what I was on about. Yeah, I don't know. Look, basically, I figure if they have the meat, they already ate something. In one day's time, I can call for more traders. This thing's ready. Hold on. I can fling this and we can get extra help from purple, which I haven't called for yet. I have a lot of chem fuel. I could absolutely just yeet that. Um, that will give me more chances to have four different traders come. It'll still be three more days, but that will get us up to probably about the 12th. Um, yeah, I'm seeing this as like, we could probably do this. Can I fling one of these? Like, that's going to make them really happy for size. I know it doesn't weigh a lot. Do I have anything that does weigh a lot that I can just like eat at them? I've thrown a lot of like really heavy stuff out of my base so far. We also have 5,000 gold, silver, sorry. That better actually be in stockpiles so I can use that for like a flyover trader or something. Okay. I can't send that. I don't want to send my guns. A lot of people also went down with their guns but that hasn't happened in this playthrough yet. There's a lot of unfinished stuff. I could throw that bed. Let's throw that bed. <laughs> Continue to send more flashbacking to Hadley. No, I'll give Plush some hats as well. 
in amongst like, I don't know, I'm gonna ruffle Pat plush this time and see if that's okay. I kind of don't want to send the jade, but I know it'll make him happy. I don't want to make him too fucking happy, you know? I just want to send things that kind of weigh a bit because I hate sending in like a mostly empty thing. Oh, that's right. I flung, <laughs> I flung, I flung limestone and like granite and shit at them last time. Now I remember, I have sandstone blocks. How do you guys feel about a gift of sandstone? <laughs> All right. <laughs> They've got a couple of expensive things in there. This should make them happy. There's a couple of good things and then there's just weighted crap to get out of my face. I don't use sandstone for much. I'm more likely to use granite for a statue later. We haven't even made any art or statues. Like we haven't got to a point where I can just let them craft pretty things. While they're here, once we get past winter, I will let them probably craft some stuff because we're gonna be here for hopefully a couple of years. Not in real world years, I mean in game years, I'd like them to have a chance to really build up their food again, like with salvation before we move. Because the next moves, I don't know, it's going to be mostly sent via transport pods. I'm just going to do like large groups of them. Wagstaff happily smiles, seeing Wolf Plush, receiving ruffles and pats. No, It's always so cute. The wall is inspired. Table needs chairs. True, table does need chairs, but I don't have wood for that. Let's just get rid of all these at the moment, because I just don't have the wood for it. I know that that fucks over that, but I could take some of these chairs from that. Seas flu. Who's got the flu? Gat. Gat never had the flu last time, so this could be better as long as they don't share it to everybody. Who's naked? I saw that. I saw unhappy nudity pop up for like just a fucking split second and waiting to see it come up again and I, I want to know who's not wearing clothes. It's 43 people wearing tattered stuff. Hold on. Uh, they shouldn't have tattered stuff on. Um, that one's supposed to be getting moved, Bear. I'll tell you what. When you're done with that... Cannot do construction. Okay. You're... It's basically because it's reserved at the moment. These ones are all in here. It's front wall wagon tail happily. Flogging wolf bush. No. I don't high five that poor. Just to like keep it random. <laughs> Even I'm confused by that Viking. Don't worry. Let's get rid of this specific one. I could just imagine Viking just having like this confused expression. Being like what just happened? Oh, happily tilts head. It's fine. I just felt like being silly as all. Like, in monks, I, I know that it doesn't seem very stressful and stuff with my colony, but it genuinely is. I worry deeply that they're not going to make it. Like, it's it's not even about, like, they're not going to make it. It's that not enough of my people will make it through winter. Like, already we've got two people that are, like, glowing red and one person, two people are glowing orange and there's a couple of yellows in here. If I had a look at you, what is your problem? Uh, slept in cold, tattered apparel, minor pain, darkness, dull barracks. Where is your bed, Tadashi? Fuck if I know, I'll never find it. I'll be honest there. But my reds are no longer red. So what are you, yellow? Why are you on edge? <coughs> Not head, wagging tail, happily standing wolf flush. Yeah. Recreation starved. You have every chance to recreation. You're about to eat. Dull barracks. Hungry. You're going to fix that. Drowsy. Slept on the ground. Slept in cold. There's your food. Okay. That means that you're up in here. Do you like... No, no. Don't do cleaning. You don't want to play poker. I don't think I can actually make them do recreational stuff, to be fair. I think they'll do it if they want to. So it's really up to them. I also don't have the uh, hoop things now that I think about it. I got rid of those a while ago. Hold on, let's add a bit more recreation. I don't have the O-ring ones, but I do have these. Now let's do fireproof ones for starters. Can I just keep that in line there? And just put a couple out here. Actually, I should probably put like a fucking dozen of these because I have a lot of people. 
So it's a good chance that a lot of people are actually going to want to play games. Um, I don't really want it to be like in the thick of anywhere useful. This is why I can force asleep snuggling wolf flush. No. Oh, you get your sleep, Viking. Um, eventually I will sleep myself. I assume that I think I'm probably going to sleep after I stop stressing about my colony. That's my best suspect. It's a thing. I see you, Keelan. I see you all rugged up and cozy. Possibly also drowsy. I suspect. I, I'm going to put this up here too. I want it to be around the recreational area, just like a lot of these. When I get like the uh, hoop thingies, you know, the, um, the round ones and stuff. I'll put a few of those up here too. But for right now, that should be plenty. If I zoom out, who did I put down? Whoa, that is not what I clicked on. There we go. 15. I made 15. Okay. I think three people can play it at a time. So we should have a really good group of people being able to use that. Also, everybody's in here. Got the good news today. Oh, yeah. She good news. Um, actually, speaking of, I also got fucking good news. We have the uh, air conditioner should hopefully be getting installed on uh, the 23rd this month, hopefully, for the computer room. Which means that coming into summer, I'm not hopefully going to fucking die from the summer heat. No pause, pause move while I sleep, no. Yeah, so that is one good news that we've got from my end, is um, the air conditioner is, like, set up to get installed. Like, it's entirely up to, like, if they keep to that schedule and stuff, obviously, but my kind of hope is that everything goes fine. Who's starving, human, and why? You were in a mental state earlier, I'm pretty sure. Malnutrition, you're consuming a normal meal. Oh, my replacement battery. Oh, yeah, your battery paid for is arriving in two days. But good news, the company that sold me the old battery accepted it for warranty replacement. That's good. Because, like, in best case scenarios, you might get, like, a spare battery or a refund or something like that. Or even, like, um, credit or something. Um... I always consider like getting a spare one isn't too bad. That's just like me. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, that's great. That's good. That's a good overall like result. Is it still going to be like a while before you can get access to it? Or have you got the... Uh, oh, it's arriving in two days. Sorry. Yeah, you did say that. Can I get you to... I don't want you to use it. I want you to... I don't know if I said... No, no, no. I want you to oh, clear your prioritize. I need somebody that can deconstruct this motherfucker. This is supposed to be getting deconstructed. Tailoring cannot be assigned to tailoring. Hold on. Uh, let's get rid of all these because this one's going. So it can't be used. It can't be powered. Somebody will be with that soon to deconstruct it, hopefully. Considering how this laptop eats through batteries, I'd rather keep a spare one around. Yeah, it'd probably be a good idea if you have a spare. Because, like, worst case scenario is if you have to do any other return or something like that, you can kind of probably be comfortable in the meantime. You know? That would be good. I'm going to put extra doors on these because I want to get rid of the in ones. Recreation start. Look, we're working on that. Everybody's in here. We do have power on a few TVs. We just don't have wood. I c probably could make stuff out of limestone. I don't really want to do that. I'm trying to get a surplus of like a little bit of limestone rock at the moment. Um, the warranty one will arrive in 10 days and the one I ordered will arrive in two days. Oh yeah. It's still a couple of days without it though. But that's not too long. That's pretty good. I think that's like overall pretty good news. Um, and mine, mine use is just mostly very expensive. They added like an extra like few hundred dollars to like the cost of uh, installing the aircon. Which we kind of expected. It just kind of sucks because like we were expecting it to be what we expected from like the start of the year cost. And had kind of like factored that kind of thing. Not the best outcome but doubled. Yeah. Yeah I consider that for like your situation. Because like then you get a spare one. And in both cases, like, you've 
like the other thing too is you've always got a second one so like you don't have to move the charges around and stuff if you want to have like a couple of spots but you want your like laptop and stuff to like charge and stuff it's also kind of useful it's kind of like that with like phones having multiple charges you can just plug in wherever i'm also still keeping an eye out for like if somebody comes up with fucking nudity and hold on i need to make sure that you I'm pretty sure I checked this last time. Isn't all just wolves? Cool. I just need to make sure that they're not just stuck with wool clothing because if they make only wool clothing and we come into spring, they'll get too hot. That's the other concern too. I have so few animals. I probably have, I actually don't actually have that many people. I have nobody doing nothing. What the fuck? I have a very short list of extreme break lists and it's almost midnight my time so this was around about i'm gonna save all my shit right now this was around about as far as we got in last time before the game went to hell and as i said at the start of tonight if something happens i will re-roll it back to the nearest point and see if we can get a different option of shit because like, there's only so many options at this point that we can fucking live through. And, like, a high psychic drone plus a raid plus starvation, it's it's not really doable. Even if I had a small colony, that's not really doable, to be fair. Um, but we don't have this lighting up like a fucking Christmas tree this time, so that is nice. You're about to break because what? Recreation starved. A long time since I did anything fun on my own. You guys have recreational time. You have like eight to ten hours of recreation time a day. I I don't understand you people. What the fuck? Like I get it if they're like they're starting from like down here. I, I get that. That's like at least like two or three hours to get up to here in their recreation time, then eat and then do something. Kind of get it. They also have to actually build these. But, like, look, one of them's already here. This one already exists. <laughs> Somebody's had some fun. Look at the little horseshoes. Somebody's been playing games. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, validate this so much. There's another one over there. It hasn't been used yet, but it's built. It's better than nothing. <laughs> Honestly, we've got some electricity coming through. I've got, like, some kind of rolling blackouts going, though. So this is sealed. Do I have enough steel to do another one? I don't. Damn it. I kind of do need my traders to rock up for their resources, to be fair. At least it's not absolute fucking murder chaos death. Where is this? Slag chunks and machinoids. Uh, that needs to go to... Wait, is this... That was the old corpse zone. That's right. I had a corpse zone all the way out there. Is that uranium? There's uranium. I can sell that shit. I have like a whole bunch of like colonists that love mining. They'll be out here in like a hot second. I don't even need to like ask them to do stuff. Is there any out in the water? And there's like nothing out there. This is hello. That's steel. Oh, I need steel. Hold on. I thought I could, uh, yeah, mine the bane. Mine that as well. I'm sure it goes inwards a bit because that's going in a bit. Okay, I'm excited about this because we need steel. That looks like it goes in quite far, actually. Um, we need steel for the geothermal um, power. Okay. Um, I've got some wind turbines. I've got some solar. But the geothermals. But I'm really looking for some actual fucking resources. Like, I should probably cut through that to sort of like what we've got going on here. Make it a bit wider so that like if something happens like a pass through they're easier about like bottlenecking. I'm basically trying to like fix up my colony in a way that's like best case scenario we have resources, people are fed, people have warm bedrooms. It is like 20 something degrees. It's like nine degrees outdoors and it's the it's almost the fucking middle of winter in this game. It's 26% grown. 25. 
These I only planted not long ago and they're like 18%. I think this was like the last one, 26%. Oh, these are growing really good. If this all comes to fruition, <laughs> by the way, they're still planting this part of the rice and those berries. They're still gonna do that. But by the look of it, it's gonna have like such a large amount. This will feed all of my animals. Is this ready to go? Yes. Please. We need to throw this at purple. They need to become our friends. There you are. Yeah, there you go. Also, I love the fact that like this quest is still here. In incapacitated refugee. Um, I turned that down for Shyly because um, it's only got like seven hours left. I'd never make it out there, but it was winter. We had no food. There was no way I was going to like get out there. A friendship. Kitty Venus. Yeah, hold on. We just made friends. Let me get back into my base. Uh, by the power of Nya. Lol. Hold up. Mm, there we go. Alright, give me my game back. She'll be she'll be kittyfied in just a moment. Honestly, it's like a different time frame for different games. Let's get rid of actually, can I copy this? I want like a little area in here the moment. I'm pretty sure I already have that. There we go. <laughs> I just realized I'm like I've already got like another outfit on so it automatically like did the thing and I'm like I kind of feel like Kilon you might be sitting there like damn it. It's like I know you were after like the black top and the, the um, orange and stuff and I'm like we had minty so we've got the alternate minty. My bulk goods trader ship. Oh my god yes. This is something I've been waiting for and hoping for is for something to fly over and for us to have a lot of money. I like this one too. I like it too as well. I like the blue. I also did fix up the silver one too. I, I made a fix for it. I didn't fix it. I made a fix. Um, but yeah, I, I quite like the blue one because that I have got chronologically in the story of like my character um, variations of blue outfits for her. So I feel like very, very connected to this one. That and like my black dress. And I always feel connected to the white one because like I never draw my characters much in color. Like the last like, well, when I was drawing a lot, I kind of didn't draw like the last five years of like frequent drawing in color. So the white dress also I connect with because it reminds me of just like a white page to draw on kind of thing. It's, it's weird, but whatever. It works kind of thing. There's a few other ones I like as well. There's a couple I want to tweak. But yeah, the black, this blue, and the white one. They're like probably my three favorites out of all of mine. Like I quite like the the shirt and skirt variations on my normal character, on my, my base character. But um, it's just because I'm like fond of that. She can't talk properly, but they have animals and we need more food. Oh, you have, unfortunately you have a pack of Labradors. That's going to be interesting because I don't think I have that set to auto cull. I might have to do that manually. And I do actually have the 6,000. Fantastic. Food, more food, actual food. Oh man. Holy shit. This is giving me such a better chance. I didn't have any of these options last week. By the way, by the way, what? Um, chem fuel, I uh, don't need any of that. Components were good for at the moment. So how many do you have? You have 28. I, mean, I always do need components, but there is other things. I'd rather get the advanced ones at the moment. But if I can afford them, I'll come back to it. Oi, gear on. I wasn't actually expecting that. I thought you were going to say something. Um... Yeah, I had, shut up. I had nothing for that. I was not ready. Um, I guess that was your point. Uh, 25 medicine. I don't want no drugs. Uh, steel, yes. Oh my God, so much steel. I could, I don't want uranium. I sell that. I do need plus steel. That has been on our list for like a month to buy. A psychoid leaves, I could feed my animals. They could eat that. The only problem is I don't know if my people eat that. I don't think my people eat these. And I don't have anything set up to 
make for food. He's got him. Basically, I wasn't ready. I just saw it pop up on my screen and I'm like, what the fuck? I might make a little spot for my animals to get access to this. I don't have refrigerated or anything, but that will feed them into spring. I don't have anything to make stuff with this, so it's not like my people can do anything. Um, and now she's disappearing into Shadow Realm. Look, classic Keelon, honestly. I expect nothing less at this point. I really do. Um, happy lurking. Uh, cloth. Let's see. Let's get rid of all the shitty clothes. Because I know I've got enough money to sell this out. I need to get rid of all the crap. Like, I'm just going to sell everything I've made. Because if I can keep my wools and leathers and furs and all that shit, right, on my peels, I can make new stuff and my people will be happy. I would love to smelt this. My people are lazy. Let's be honest. Nobody's interested in going and smelting a fucking steel cap. I bought these. My people wore them. They won't smelt them. I could probably set somebody up to sit there and smelt them, but I'm buying steel, so I'm not worried. Uh, trade with Whitborn. Okay, I've actually got a trade sitting there too, now that I see that. I'm going to sell Shadow's pants. He doesn't need pants. I'll tell him that later. <laughs> it's literally been two two like chronological events where he's like ditched his pants i love it um and the mufflo robe i know that's excellent quality last time i sold off the gold i could actually probably buy gold if i wanted to but i'm not going to because that's just going to raise the fucking money on my thing i only keep gold for like the traders and shit that won't take it elsewhere uh let's see what else so you guys will buy furs and I don't actually have that much but I do have a lot of muffalo wools. So let's see what that does to my stack. I may have to get rid of the cycloid leaves. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Lol. I, I didn't know what that was so I had to like move something to see it. I'm like that's hilarious. Um, let's see I've got... I didn't end up getting the normal components but I've got every bit of food and I'm selling basically all of my wools and leathers for stockpiling food like we can peel some animals later all right there we go actually don't want to take the money i want to keep a little bit of actual stuff i do need cloth unfortunately they'll pan it out a little bit that's not much i need cloth for like tables and some other shit carpets and stuff later probably um I probably just won't get it at the moment. I was making poker tables, but they're all made now that I think about it. I could sell the bird skin and keep the planes lever a, a bit. About a hundred of this, I think. Uh, no, hold on. A little bit too little. Not far off. Not bad, though. Oh, I accidentally hit the wrong fucking button. Let me up on a three. That's a hundred profit. Lots of food. Stuff for the animals. I'm going to have to make a refrigerated food area for them. Okay. This is woefully bountiful. Fuck knows where this is coming to. I hit accept. I'm waiting. Well, shit. <laughs> I, I bought so much the game had to think about it. Hold on. I don't want to lose this ever. I'm going to save the shit out of this. Just a heads up. We're progressing with this. I'm actually very happy with how things are going this week versus last week, but it is only midnight and at this point in the game we had the high psychic drone and then within about 10 minutes, I think it was, 10, probably 20 minutes honestly, we had the attack. What do you want? You want veils. I don't have any materials for you. Plaster would be great. I could get all my chairs done. It reckons it's 2.3 days away. Any material, normal quality veils. The only problem with that is I have to make sure that 260 people don't wear them. Um, I could accept it temporarily, but, oh for fuck's sake, I don't fucking want to. I was going to say <laughs> Please no, I was I did not actually like click that with purpose. That was an accident. <laughs> I meant to say 
that. Even if I wanted to accept this, <laughs> that um, 